You are a good King Arthur, solid choice. Oh, thank you. I was talking you. to Guy, and he said you were not on the list initially. Did that sur I mean, you, huh. I almost want to say, did that surprise you? But I mean, clearly it didn't. But I mean, what, what, no, made, you, what made you decide this is something I've got to do? I just got it right away in the four word pitch, Guy Ritchie's King Arthur. I just felt it, felt what it was going to be, and it felt original and fresh. I mean, I came into it being a big fan of both elements. I'd grown mm -hmm. up with the Arthurian legends and it'd been a, um, there's an adaptation of it where, that John Borman did called Excalibur and like 79 or 80, 81, mm -hmm. something like that. And that was a big film for me in my childhood and really sort of helped crystallize this dream I had of becoming an actor. And so obviously 30 years later, the idea of playing the man himself felt like a really sort of, in my life, a significant full circle. Yeah. Uh, and then I'd also been an enormous fan of guys. I threw my name in the hat to play Arthur and he threw it back out. And I said, wait a minute, all my hopes and dreams and imaginary friendship that I'd created just crumbled to the yeah. ground. And he so. said you thought, he thought you were too skinny. When I finally arrived, so I got, I, I said, screw this, I'm getting on a plane, just get me in for a cup of tea with him and I'll convince him to let me audition a for the role. A cup of tea? Yeah, that's how we do it in That's English. how it happened? Yeah, yeah. A, a cup of tea? A cup of tea, mate. Yeah. Wow, that's how, okay. That's how we roll. So, yeah, so I showed up and I was on the last season of Scuns of Anarchy where, I don't know if you know that show, but yeah. I, uh, the characters I played. Okay, well, yeah, I don't want to assume anything. I got you. So uh, the character that I played had, had, uh, had to endure this massive trauma. Uh, he'd lost his wife and, and so I wanted to lose a lot of weight to show like the physical trauma that he'd been through. And so I showed up to, uh, to meet with Guy and we started to like each other and he started to see me and I said, all right, I'm in here. And then we ground to a hole. He said, but you're just too skinny. Like what, what's with the physique? And he started bringing this up time and time again. I said, listen, I was just for a roll. I'll get thick again. Right. And then the final time he brought it up, which was during the audition, these things are sort of like unpleasant, these like screen tests. There'll be a room like this. Oh, yeah. And I've be been like in them. Four or five other actors there, and we're all kind segregated. of look like you. They all have a, like a different bizarro world well, version it's, of yourself. It's, it's messed up. At the beginning of it, you're just in a hallway and you're all sitting next to each other. <laughs> like, oh, like, what's up? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 It's like, <laughs> He's got a nice beard. <laughs> Uh, nice beard. <laughs> so there's a little bit of that going on, and then when you get to the next level, uh, which I'm sure you know, then you're in separate rooms waiting, but you're still aware of each other and you mm -hmm. pass each other in the hallway. So anyway, he, he finally, Guy, brought up this, um, this sort of fear about my physicality one more time, and I said, listen, pal, if you're that worried about it, let's just call this audition off. And you can bring those other jokers in here and we'll fight, and whoever walks out of the room gets the role. And there was a moment where I went, I like you. All right, read the scene again. And so I think that's sort of the moment that I, that I got the role. Now, wait a second. Is that, are you acting, are you like, I, I'm not going to lose this opportunity? Or are you like, I will really fight these dudes out here for this role? If he'd have called them in, I, 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 yeah, you'd have went. I, I'd have went, and I'm, I was also pretty sure I'd have been walking out that room.